check this one out. This is the latest image from Soul 3800. I'm not saying this is a shelf. I'm not saying this is a CD rack or a bookshelf or something similar. But that is just an idea of what shape we're looking at here. We have what looks a bit like a plank of wood. I'm not saying it is wood. I'm just saying it's shaped like a plank of wood. And we have these three sections like you would get on a CD rack or DVD rack or one of those wooden racks you get from a retailer that you put books on or whatever, okay? Let's go in a bit closer. This bit the part here is fairly square, I would say. This bit's broken down. This bit's broken. But it's on a sort of flat, plank-like shaped piece here. And there's another one next to it with these strange nodules on it. And you can really see this one here has got a right angle here. The rest of it's all kind of corroded away. Like this part here and this part here. But this part is kind of square. So we've got, a, we've got right angles in here. And you can really see how straight this part is here. Right? I'm going to flip through. Here's a rule clip showing the thing next to it as well. This is completely raw, okay? And we've got this strange plank-like shaped piece here with nodules on, these weird parts sticking out, right? What the hell is that? And there, on the end, I've just noticed, there's a weird part sticking out there with a shadow here. Could this be part of the same thing? Like a shelf or some kind of piece of furniture or something else? Uh... Where are the parts have eroded away and corroded? Could be. There's a raw clip. And even in the raw clip, you've got quite good detail here. This was taken right next to the rover. So we can see that these parts look like they're part of something. But what? Look at these nodules sticking out here. Very strange. Now, of course, this may be millions of years old. It may be 500,000 years old. Uh, it may be only 100,000 years old. Who knows? But the point is, what you have to imagine is what some of our things would look like if they were left on Mars or just left out for that long on a dry planet with almost no oxygen and no water. This may be what they would look like, some of the things in your house, if they were left long enough, okay? If they were metal objects or wooden objects, I wouldn't expect the wood to um, survive, but uh, metal objects would survive a long time and would probably become concreted. So this may be concretion on here, some of it. Okay? This was a lake bed here, and there was water in this area, and there's lots of clay, sedimentary clay, and, and stuff in this ground. So this may have crystallised in, in the uh, minerals in the sand as well. The sand has got a high sulfur content and lots of bicarbs. Bicarbs are basically salts that, that help things crystallise when they die out, okay, or when they're left in the sediment. Real close up. Flipped over. And you can really see this time, you can look at this angle here. I mean, the texturing on it is, is really strange. It's like, almost like there's a grain to it on the side as well, on the edge here. Very interesting. A real close-up. See, this, this looks like it's kind of um, laminated. Now we've got two parts to this part here. So maybe this is artificial and this was made from material that was laminated. If you look closely here, you can just about make out this gap like we have here. We have a gap just there. So this may be laminate material. Here it is again. This is completely raw. This is the whole photograph which has been turned round. You can see the uh, shadow of the rover here. That is the, the actual uh, Mali cam, which is on the end of the arm, like a robot arm, which has kind of come down close to the ground and taken a close-up. So this thing isn't that big. 
This may be five inches. It may only be four. It could be seven. Uh, but I'm guessing this, this longer one here is about eight to 12 inches or something like that. Get it. And we have similar nodules on, on the uh, piece up here in the corner, but not the same. Not the same. Look at this one here. Are these bolts or something? Are they part of some kind of mechanical object or or uh, machinery? Who knows? Very interesting. So even in the raw image, it's very clear. This hasn't been brightened up or anything. This is how the image comes, right? The image is kind of up the other way. So I had to flip it round. So this is the actual image. And uh, that's what it looks like on the page when you download it. This is a super close-up taken by the Mali Cam. And uh, you, you can really see some of the detail quite well here. This is blurred because it's too close to the camera, this part. That's why it's blurred. It's out of focus because it's too close. But this part is in, in good focus, the, the part behind. Look at this material. Okay, really close. This is exactly what this camera is designed to do. It's designed to take real close-ups. But look at these parts. Look at this part here. This is on the plank thing next to it. Interesting. Interesting stuff. What is it? Is it metal that's corroded and all covered in dust and sand? It could be. It may not be rock at all. So there's a lot of weird sedimentary rocks in this area and, there, and strange things that I've shown before recently. And uh, I don't think all of it's rock. I think some of it's metallic. Some of it may be, even be um, petrified wood. I've shown that before. Okay. So there, there's the raw image of that there. That's what it looks like. It's very orange. What you have to do is colour correct it a little bit and then brighten it. Let me know what you think it is. I mean, I, I don't know. It looks artificial to me. Uh, doesn't mean it is, but it, it really does look artificial. Now, I posted this last night, and I, I put here, Mars bookshelf or CD rack, anyone? Any idea what this is? Now, literally, people have only just started seeing this because I put it up last night, early, uh, early in the morning. This morning, I suppose. And... Uh, there's my first enhanced clip of it here. And um, it looks, it does look like something fossilized or uh, petrified or whatever. Like some kind of technical object, like a techno fossil. Basically, it's a techno fossil. It's not a, not a fossil of a creature or a, a plant or anything like that. It's a fossil of something technical that has been manufactured, perhaps. So uh, do come along to Mars Magazine. If you want to see things like this before they go up on, on YouTube or on other places, uh, there's lots of stuff to see on this page. And uh, I always put things on here first to test the water a little bit, see what people think. And then often I make videos and then it goes on Twitter and everything else, okay, on, on YouTube. So um, come along to Mars Magazine. It's totally free to join up. Uh, the Unexplained Mysteries of Mars, Moon, Earth and Space. Alien Archaeology, Art and Architecture. And I've shown plenty of it. So if you're new to this channel, come along and check it out. You'll see stuff here that will blow your mind. Um, and often you'll see it way before anyone else does. Okay? And there's the spikes that I posted uh, about four days ago. This is a, um, a much sharper, closer image taken by the ChemCam, okay? And there's the spikes, which a lot of people say look like fish bones. They do look like a, a fish spine, similar. But would a fish spine actually survive for many, many thousands of years sticking out of a rock like this? I'm not sure they would. Fish bones are quite soft, actually, and uh, they probably wouldn't survive. Whereas something like rebar, like you would use for reinforced concrete, probably would. And that's what I suggested this might be. Sol 3800, 
Morris Hand Lens Imager Mali. You just download it here and uh, you can see all those details there. I haven't altered any of it. I often brighten things up or colour correct them a bit, but I really don't mess with these images much. If they're a clear object, you don't usually need to. If they're, if they're well lit, this is fairly well lit, so it's fine. You don't need to do much with these images when they're like this. Maybe just colour correct them a bit and uh, add maybe a bit of contrast or brightness or whatever. It's really simple. You don't, you don't have to be some kind of graphics genius, like I've said before. But as I've said before also, if you want to become a Mars explorer like me, um, a space detective, a lot, I know a lot of you are already out there, and do your own research and you find some great stuff and post it on these pages, um, you've really got to think out of the box, okay? And uh, as I've said before, you not only need to think out of the box, you need to climb out of the box and throw the box out of the window. OK, these people at NASA probably signed some non-disclosure agreement, which is why they're not allowed to say anything. They don't want to give the game away. You can see very clearly that this is not just the standard rock. It has right angles. It's built like a plank. And there's a weird kind of plank next to it, which is all mineralized and fossilized. OK, so thanks for watching, everybody. Another video coming up very soon on the spikes. I've got a big update on that coming up loads of new images and uh, a whole area covered in them okay it's absolutely insane so keep an eye open for that it'll be coming up later thanks for watching i'll see you soon